Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine material graph. Today we're looking at the pixel normal world space node. So, let's jump right in. If I was to grab the pixel normal world space node and plug this into the base color and maybe the emissive if we're feeling generous, you'll see that Hmm, it looks exactly like the Vertex Normal World Space node. And in a lot of ways, they are extremely similar. But if we were to go and add a normal map, then you'll see. Hmm, much more interesting. Much, much more interesting. So what this is returning is the normal of the object taking into account the normal map. So what can this be used for? One of the most useful things about it is using it as a mask for something. So if we were to mask this in the B channel, being the Z channel, being the up and down channel, <laughs> you can see that now only our upwards facing pixels are being selected, I guess, or being masked. So the upward facing pixels return one, the sideways facing pixels return zero, and the downwards facing pixels are returning negative one. Now, I use this in conjunction with the Vertex Normal World Space node. So if we were to do something as simple as mask both of these, add them together, and then subtract one, because these will combine together to equal two at maximum, um, that's why we're subtracting it by one. So by doing this, we get the upwards facing pixels, but only on the upwards facing vertices not the sideways facing vertices. So that's just a quick little trick. And obviously you can use this to, you know, cover your objects in snow or moss or whatever. I do this myself a lot for sort of procedurally covering objects um, so that, you know, these have sand on top of them, but always facing upwards rather than being statically, you know, textured onto the, the object. There are hundreds upon hundreds of other uses, but this is probably the most common one. Uh, you can't use this to do any vertex displacement, wheel position offset stuff. Um, so that is one limitation of it. But yeah, it is, a, it is a really important node in sort of bringing your game world to life and making it feel as though it physically exists. Um, so that sums it up for today. As a reiteration, the Pixel Normal World Space node returns the normal in the RGB channel slash XYZ directions of each pixel on the object that it is being applied to. So that was a nice and quick one. Uh, I hope you found that helpful, useful, educational, entertaining. As always, if you enjoy what we do here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and drop a comment below of what you personally use this node for and let everyone else in the comments know, just so we can spread that knowledge and get as many use cases of this node as possible. So with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>